What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button. Let's jump into this week's topics. Proline by the Fire was last weekend. I went down Thursday, came back Sunday. It was a fantastic event. The main days of the event were Friday and Saturday, jam-packed with little mini events, well-organized, just overall a great feel. Little warm this year, but no big deal. It was just a super well put together event, a ton of fun, and it was a great turnout. Had an absolute blast. I did do video vlogs. I did vlogs that I posted each day. So there was three videos for my trip showing you just a little bit of what the whole thing was like from my side of things. Had an absolute blast. If you haven't seen those and you wonder what the event is like, you can find them. I'll put a link to those below. Again, had an absolute blast. Can't stress enough how great of an event that is and how much I encourage you to think about making the trip next year if you haven't already. But while at Proland by the Fire, there was some new releases shown. First one is the Element Bushido. Now this is the Element Enduro platform, the same basic platform that they've had up until this point, but this is a short wheelbase, like 11.8 inches with a Suzuki Samurai body on top. The wheelbase of the full-size Samurai, pretty short, so that's why you see the shortened wheelbase here. But the Samurai was small in all dimensions, so even though they shortened the wheelbase, that body is still very large. It basically goes out to the edges of the 1.9 tires that it has on it, so the body, even though it's supposed to mimic a very small vehicle, is a very large body still. So be ready for that. When you see it, it may look much larger than you have initially thought being that you have a small Suzuki Samurai in mind. But overall, same vehicle underneath does come with 1.9s, which is about the appropriate scale since the body is probably closer to like a 1 8 scale vehicle. Beyond that, there's not a lot of frills. It's a pretty bare bones platform. There's no interior or window wells, anything like that. Uh, you just get the body, the, you know, the element enduro chassis that you're used to and there's a couple of you know add-on things like they've got some you know molded mirrors a, a snorkel you can install if you want a whole sticker sheet the body comes basically empty and you install the stickers as you wish the elements are still one of the cheaper trucks out there so if you really like a samurai style this is the best one that i think we've seen so far and then if you do like the style of that bushido night customs right along with the release of that vehicle has a whole host of different pieces that you can add on to it 3d print your own different you know rear drop bed, interior pieces, fender wells, a ton of different items that you're going to be able to pick up. So if you've got a 3D printer, you like this one and you want it a lot more scaled out, then this is a combination that's gonna work well for you. I believe that these are all going to be on his My Mini Factory. I don't think that they are yet. The posts on his social media say, you know, a sneak peek of what's coming out, but check out the Night Customs My Mini Factory. It'll give you you know, a ton of different vehicle options as well as this new Bushido. So I'll put a link to that as well in the description below. Next, we did see the release of the Axial and Proline collaboration project also released at Proline by the Fire. And it was an Axial SCX-10 3 base camp with a bunch of Proline accessories and a new K-10 body on top. Now, this is a project that is, it's like a custom built truck from Axial slash Proline, commemorating the 1982 Chevy K10 and the start of Proline, which will be 40 years now. So that is the purpose of this truck. Now, again, it is a bit of a custom truck, and with that comes a bit of a premium price. The underpinnings of this truck are basically an Axial base camp. It's got the simpler base camp style transmission, which I prefer. It does have portal axles, but in addition to those, it's got some Proline aluminum wheels, Proline Hyrax tires. It has the K10 detailed body. Also, it's got the Proline scale shocks on it. Same electronics underneath, I believe. But with all of that, it does add up to a $599 price tag. You do also get a fancy coin with the Proline 40th anniversary thing on it. Beyond that, it does have a lasered and serial numbered motor plate to go along with this package. Again, it's a special edition. It's commemorating the 40th anniversary and it's kind of a custom truck. It's probably not for everybody. The $599 price tag is gonna push some people away. But if you wanna be able to pull out of the box a truck that's got some add-ons done to it already and you like the idea of limited edition, serial numbered, there's only gonna be 1,982 for the 1982 year 
40th anniversary that it's commemorating. Again, not gonna be for everybody, but they're not trying to sell that many of them either. This limited edition, if you like it, you can have one of the few. These aren't shipping right away, but they are taking orders now. No idea how long the 1,982 units are going to last or where you're going to see them available. Not sure if these will make it to dealers or if you're gonna go to Horizon Direct for this truck. So if you really want it, might as well get it while the gettings are good. Maybe you'll get a low serial number too. I don't know. You can check out all the details though in the description below. I wanna thank Crawler Innovations for sponsoring this month of the Scale News Update. Now you may know Crawler Innovations mainly for their foam upgrade options that you can purchase for just about all of your vehicles, but Crawler Innovations has also formed the Activated Outlaw Series. Now this is a guideline or rule set for basic competitions that you can easily host in one of your areas. The Activated Outlaw Series is a just super basic, easy to follow rule set. And you can go to the website, download free score sheets with the rules. It's just a very basic, easy to follow rule set where you can host just about anywhere without having to tell people what they can and can't run. It makes it really easy. There's a link below to the Activated Outlaw website. You can go, there's a simple button that you can click to download score sheets. They have blank score sheets or score sheets that also have the rules at the bottom to just make it even easier for you as an organizer or trying to get volunteers for judging, anything like that. And if you do need to go shop for foams, don't forget you can use the code HARLEY10 to save yourself 10% at crawlerinnovations.com. Thanks again to Crawler Innovations for sponsoring this month of the Scale News Update. This week, Vanquish Products released the F10 straight axles as an axle only kit. These are the same axles that come underneath of the new Phoenix straight axle kit version, but now you can just buy those axles if you like for a custom build or to swap under something else. These are a complete axle from hex to hex. So everything you need for a front or rear axle is available in these. These utilize an offset front pumpkin design. They come with the universal shafts as well, machined gears, machined lockers, super nice complete axle sets at a great low cost. Check these out at the link in the description below. Also from Vanquish, the Comp Stance hats are back. These are a flex fit hat. They're available in two sizes, a large XL or an extra, extra large. If you're normally like right on the border of a flex fit just being too tight, like that seven and five eighths range, then if you're that size or larger, get the XXL, which is this one. They're also offered now in a youth size in black. So if you've been waiting for comp stance, check that out. And there's also an olive colored hat with the rubber vanquish patch on there available now also. And finally, for the month of October, the pink Cerakoted Breast Cancer Awareness Edition wheels are also available. These are the Method 101s, Cerakoted in a pink with a clear anodized ring. Stainless hardware is included as well. And a portion of the proceeds from the sale of these wheels go to the Susan G. Komen organization. So if you're a big fan of pink or just want to support the cause, those are very limited. They were put on the site on Monday. They are very limited. As of the filming of this video, they're still available. Next, SendCutSend.com has added some new services to their business. You can now have your laser cut parts anodized, powder coated, you can have them zinc plated. Countersinking is now being offered as a service as well. They already had CNC bending. So, so you have parts that are a little bit more complex or you just want a completely finished part to arrive to you, this is a great option. And they've also recently even lowered their minimums on things. So. If you're just trying to get something done quickly, you wanna check it out, absolutely go do that. And I'm not just an influencer shill, I'm also a customer. New parts show up today. Go check them out. And I do have a code where you can go save yourself some money. So click the link in the description below, use that code, save yourself some money on your next order, whether you've used the code prior or not. For you CEN F450 owners out there, CEN actually released some of those KG1 wheels in aluminum, and those are available now also. These are a black anodized wheel set. Not sure if there's more versions like polished aluminum or other coatings coming, but the KG1s at this point are available. These are the dually set up wheels. The F250 is the single wheel style, and those are a little bit different. But if you're a dually owner or you want to put dually wheels on something else, you can check out these KG1s from CEN. This week, J Concepts released some new bodies and I can't make fun of them. They're just a couple of pre-painted, pre-detailed monster truck bodies. There's a Summit Racing one and a special Bigfoot one. J Concepts obviously continues to support the monster truck community with all kinds of different options. If you fall into that community, then here's a couple of them that just make it a little bit easier for you to get your monster truck trucking. 
Capo is now teasing a 1.8 scale Skyline GTR R34. This is uh, rendering only at this part. There's no actual hard part photos or anything like that, but this is a very detailed R34 style RC. 1.8 scale, but it's got a, you know, RB up front, it's got a realistic styled drivetrain, a lot of detail to the body and interior, things like that. Capo does this style with the off-road scene now. They've got a couple of different Jeep ones. They've got a, you know, kind of a rock bouncer-esque version as well. They're a lot about the detail. Their function is questionable often at times and durability can be right there with it, but this is an on-road car. So maybe things will be a little bit more in line either way uh, it's very detailed it's got a very interesting style it's got like a true steering rack with a servo driven uh setup no official information no price no real photos so it's all just uh, you know in the computer at this point matt and i are both back at our homes so live stream takeover this wednesday will happen like normal 6 p.m pacific 9 p.m standard where we will both be in our normal little rooms. Come check that out. We have a lot to talk about. After the four days we just spent together in Southern California, an absolute blast was had by all and Camtech racing was amazing. And then back to the normal style of Friday Night Lives. Again, as I appear and have a lot of projects to get some work done on. But that's gonna do it for this week's news topics. For this week's question segment, last week I asked you what YouTube channels you guys like to watch outside of just the RC area. Had some really good suggestions. I found a lot of people who liked a lot of the same type of content that I did and saw then some channels that paralleled some that I had never heard of. So found some good entertainment there. I've been binge watching a handful of them. So thank you all for your suggestions. For this week's question, I want to know where do you go for RC information? Obviously you can't learn it all on this show. That's not going to get you very far, but where do you go for new RC information or, you know, just in general, you have a question, where do you go? I want to know. Do you go to your hobby shop and ask? Do you ask a friend? Do you go to Facebook groups? What is it? I want to know where you're learning about your RCs. But that's going to do it for this week's news. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. And as always, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.